Okay, in this video, we're going to see if this series converges or not, and better yet, we'll see if this is the absolute convergent or conditional convergent. So check this out. First of all, let's put this into the form that we like, namely, we put this into the sigma notation, right? So we have the sum right here, and let's say n goes from 1, and because it keeps on going forever, so of course it goes to infinity. And we have all the ln on the bottom, so we have natural log, and you see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Of course, 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, and so on. That's, of course, 2 times n right here. And on the top, we want positive term first, and then negative, and so on. So we can just put on negative 1 to the nth power, but n goes from 1. So you have to make sure you do n minus 1. You can also do n plus 1, and that will still give you positive term. Doesn't really matter. You can also do negative 1 to the n minus 17. Up to you, <laughs> seriously. Anyway, so... This right here is the you know, sum, the series 4 in the sigma notation. Now, check for absolute convergence. We just have to apply the absolute value right here and see what happens. So we'll see. Right here, we are going to check the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And we apply the absolute value here. And we have this, which is negative 1 to the n minus 1 power over natural log of 2n like this. And of course, absolute value makes everything positive. So we have the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. This is just going to give us 1 now, and then over natural log of 2n, like this. Well, does this converge or not? If you would like, you can see this is natural log of 2 times n, and you can use the log property to break this apart. This is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over natural log of 2, which is just a constant, right? Just a number. And then we add natural log of n, like this. And again, the question is, does this converge or not? This right here diverges. Why? Because let me just put this down on the side for you guys. Because we know that the sum of 1 over natural log of n. And notice that I'm going to be, I'm not being lazy here and not putting down n is equal to 1 to infinity. I don't want to put down 1 because if n is equal to 1, I will get 1 over natural log of 1, which is 0. And I don't want to really say, um, I really don't want to say n goes from 2 to infinity in there because that might cause confusion with the 1 to infinity right here for the viewers. So let me just say that this right here diverges. The truth is, it doesn't really matter what the starting is, as long as we don't mess up the denominator, it can be n goes from 5 to infinity, still diverges, right? This right here diverges because we know that, because, we'll just write this down, because we can do the direct comparison test, natural log of n is greater than 1 over n for the series. Why? By the list. This is bigger than that, so of course the series will be bigger as well. And then you can see that if you just add a constant on the denominator here, on the bottom here, you can do a limit comparison test with this and that. So I will leave the work for you guys. This right here diverges by limit comparison test with this guy. So that's the idea for the absolute value version. With that said, this is telling us this is not absolute convergent. But does that mean if you just look at the original version, can this original version converge? Well, let's see. Now, without the absolute value, because we have some negative terms, without the absolute value, we will actually have a better chance. Let's look at the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. This time, it's just negative 1 to the n minus 1 power over natural log of 2, 1, like this. Without the absolute value, well, this is an alternating series. Let me write this down for you. The sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, Put a negative 1, n minus 1 in the front, and then times 1 over natural log of 2n, like this. Because now, we will see this part as the bn. And we have to check two conditions. First, we are going to check... Let me just put this down right here. Actually, I'm just going to put this down right here. Here is my check. First thing, when we take n, approach infinity, bn does it go to infinity? Does it go to 0? So we are looking at 1 over natural log of 2n. Does this go to 0? 
Yes, it does, because when you put infinity to here, 2 times infinity is infinity, natural log infinity is still infinity, that's in the denominator. 1 over infinity is 0, so this right here, it should be a pretty clear check mark. Now, we are going to see is bn plus 1 less than or equal to bn, meaning does bn decrease? I don't know yet. Well, put the n plus 1 into the n here, we get 1 over, don't put the n plus 1 into this n, okay? Don't do that. Anyway, natural log of 2, n plus 1 into this n, so I'll put this down in red. And then, we are going to see, does this, um, does this true, is this true, does this, well, I should say, is this going to be less than or equal to bn, which is that, 1 over natural log of 2n. Well, because everything is positive, if you would like, you can just cross multiply to make it super clear. When you do that, we get natural log of 2n right here. And when you are doing the inequality check, be sure you do algebra. Do not just plug in n is equal to 5 and just test out. No, don't do that. Do the algebra. Okay, so you multiply this right here, and of course distribute that. Natural log of 2n plus 2. Is this correct? Yes, it is, because natural log is an increasing function. The bigger the input, the bigger the output to that. So this right here checks. Therefore, as you can see, if you don't have the absolute value, this right here actually converges why? by the alternating series test. With that said, we can say this right here actually is a conditional convergent situation because the absolute value version diverges, but the original version does converge. Right? So that's the language, that's the term, that's the definition, that's the vocabulary that we have to know. Right? So conditional convergent for this guy. That's it.